In this video, we'll look at question 47 from the 2016 exam. So in this question, we are simply supposed to find all the x for which this polynomial is positive. And as we can see, the degree of the polynomial is 4. The highest power of x is 4. And that's not great because we can't really solve uh, equations of fourth order just with pen and paper without a massive formula. But we can still make a clever substitution. We can set u equal to x squared because we notice that there is no x term and no x cubed term. The only odd uh, powers, uh, sorry, only even powers of x. The odd powers are missing. And this gives us the following quadratic equation. One which has coefficients a equals 2, b is negative 9, and c is 4. And that allows us to use our quadratic formula, so minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And that leads to two possible answers, either x is 4 or x is 1 half. And then since u is x squared, something interesting will happen. And that allows us to use our quadratic formula for u, minus b plus or minus, and now the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, uh, which yields two values for u, 4 or 1 half. But we still need to keep in mind that u is x squared. So to get the axis where this is in fact the equality or where the, chi uh, where the uh, sign of the polynomial possibly changes, that means where it equals 0 rather than is greater or smaller, well, for that, we still need to take the root of 4 and 1 half. There will be two roots for each, positive negative 2 and positive negative 1 over root 2. And on a number line, those are now four different points, so infinity and negative infinity. And as we said, the sign of this polynomial possibly changes at these four point, points. For big negative numbers, the first term becomes dominant, and the expression is basically 2x to the fourth power which, when we plug in very big negative numbers, still gives us positive numbers because of this uh, even power. So on this interval, from negative 2 to negative infinity, uh, the expression here is positive. Then, of course, we'll get a similar thing uh, for very big positive numbers. Again, it's almost x to the fourth power and a positive number. And in the middle interval, uh, for x close to 0, these two terms will be almost 0, and 4 becomes the dominant term here. Again, a positive number. To find out what is happening in the other two intervals, we might either want to plug in a number from this interval and see that, in fact, um, the expression will be negative. Or another argument we, can, we could give for that is that the original expression is 4 degree polynomial, so it will have to have three stationary points. It should kind of go like up and down, up and down again, or possibly the other way around like this. Whoops. So if it crosses the x-axis at uh, these four points here, and it is positive in three regions, it must be negative in the two remaining. That's not a bulletproof argument, but something that could help you in the exam, just to draw a little picture of your, your, your function. Anyway, we see that this polynomial will be positive on three different um, intervals for really small uh, or big negative numbers, for big positive numbers, and for numbers around zero, just like the function I drew here. And this is our final answer, and in the exam, it was option C.